Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have something that I'm really, really excited about because not something I've ever opened up before. This is actually going to be my first New Wave Toys Mini Arcade Machine 1 6 scale. I never usually, I never bought these before because I didn't have room to display them. And obviously, if you have no room to display these, whether it be on your desk or on an era in your game room or anything, it kind of defeats the whole entire purpose of these things. So that's kind of the, the biggest cool factor. So, uh, you guys will be seeing, a, up, be seeing an upcoming game room tour here in the next week. Uh, and, you know, I'll be doing it next Friday, I believe. Uh, I already made an announcement video. And in that, obviously, I rearranged a lot. Like I said in that video, there's a lot of different things in there that have changed. And one of them is I made a dedicated area for my new wave toys that you guys will see later on. And this is the first one I'm going to be opening up here. And this is the Missile Command Field Test Edition. So, again, I've never seen one of these in person. I have no idea what to expect, except I know how high quality these things are when you first open them. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and dive into this together for the first time. So, let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming Tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming Tech is the gaming tech. Gaming Tech. All right, guys, so we are unboxing this together here for the very first time. And like I said before, I have never owned one of these. I'm excited about the new area that I'm making to kind of show these off. Um, so far, I have three that you guys will see uh, here shortly. I got this one, and then I also got um, the Food Fight one, and then I also got the 1942 one. So my idea with these actually is I'm going to be getting ones that I don't have in real arcade form. In other words, if I don't have like an arcade one-up version or something like that, like uh, I want to get these to kind of display since I know I'm never going to own these. Like I'm not going to own a Missile Command arcade machine or a 1942 arcade machines because that's not what I would do. But I would definitely own these in mini form, show them off in my collection, and then when people come and see them, it'd be cool. So, and, and kind of displaying these is kind of half the fun because you can kind of go crazy. People have made mini arcades and stuff. I'm making my own version of a mini arcade, so I'm excited about that. And, uh, you know, doing what I can with the space that I have and, and, you know, being a little bit creative on how to display these. So I'm excited about that. That's still an ongoing process. That should be done by the time the Game Room Tour video is up that I talked about. So first thing is, is these things are always packaged super, super well. So it comes in the cardboard box uh, that you can see here, Replicate Amusement. And it has like the Missile Command Field Test Edition. But then it's a box inside a box. Because then when you kind of flip this over that I just took the tape off of, this is the actual box that we'd be looking at here. And this actually says Missile Command Field Test Edition right here, as you can see. So it has really good protection uh, when you get these from them. They definitely don't mess around. Uh, they don't want these things. They know that these are obviously going to collectors because that's, you know, the people who want these are all going to be collectors. Now, I'm not going to be the guy who keeps this box. I don't have space for, you know, collecting every box that comes through here. Uh, but... This is really cool that it comes packaged that way so it doesn't get ruined. But however, I am going to be keeping this box in here. Um, that way, you know, things are stored and everything is correct. So here's this box here. Now, as we open this up here, we open up the flap. So this is the box inside uh, that I will be keeping. Uh, like I said, I can't be keeping all these cardboard boxes because I just don't have room. Uh, for all of these boxes if I were to do it that way so unfortunately as nice as these boxes are that they have everything labeled and stuff like that missile command field test edition uh, you can see everything is packaged really well um, you know I can't keep all these boxes unfortunately so this is unfortunately going to be thrown out I know some of you guys are probably screaming but I don't obviously anticipate selling these and even if I did I'd be keeping the the box that kind of matters which is what these come with so you can see it says limited edition 12.8 inch play scale arcade machine really nice uh, i've never seen one of these boxes before either obviously this one has a trackball so that's going to be interesting and uh, atari metal door that it has there and then it has all these specs on the back it says saves high scores official arcade rom real world cabinet and then it says all the features it has one six scale 12.8 inch trackball crt fx which is really cool that we're going to be talking about uh, the original Missile Command ROM, the Operator's Menu, Illuminated Marquee, uh, Replicate, Signature, all that kind of stuff is going to be on here. So I'm definitely excited to open this up. So let's go ahead and do it here. Let's open this. Take off the plastic out of this box here. Pretty excited to see one of these in person for the first time. You guys will be seeing reviews for all of the other ones. Like I said, the three that I have coming. I did also pre-order the new one uh, that's coming, Golden Ghost. So I pre-ordered that one. 
Uh, there is a couple more that I want, but they go crazy amounts of money on the second-hand market, so we'll see what I end up getting, because obviously, like I said, sorry, that's a lot of noise there, but uh, like I said, I'm pretty new to this whole thing, so I obviously missed out, and once they sell out, they usually sell out, so it's hard to get some of the older ones, um, so open this up here for the very first time. Right here on the top here, we have the Missile Command uh, instruction booklet, as you guys are looking at here. So that's the instruction booklet. And what I really like, too, is they give you, if you guys can see that in the video, really small coins, as you guys can see there, uh, which are really cool. They don't do anything right now. Uh, you know, they're just more for decoration and stuff. But their new machine that's coming out, the one that I just said I pre-ordered, Ghouls and Ghosts, is actually going to, for the first time, let you put these coins into an actual little bucket that's going to be inside the arcade machine, and you can actually drop coins in there. So these will have a use here shortly with that machine. But otherwise, they're kind of for decoration and stuff like that um, most of the time. And then you got the styrofoam right here on top, and then you got the USB cable that you use to charge this up. Then we got the styrofoam right here, and here is the arcade machine. Uh, this looks fantastic. Again, I have never seen one of these before. Uh, let's try and poke this out of here. It's all, of course, in styrofoam uh, sitting here. Pull this out of there. Is there anything else in the box? I believe that that's it. Yeah, the rest of this is just styrofoam. So we will leave that here to the side to store that box and keep that box for sure because that's an awesome box and then we have the actual unit itself so let's go ahead and obviously everything comes nicely wrapped like i said they really do a good job of making sure that you know they know this is going to a collector's home i mean you got the wrapping on this you got the styrofoam in there you got the plastic on the marquee or sorry on the uh on the actual screen here and everything uh but this in person uh looks fantastic i mean this size is just really cool. The artwork here on the side is just really, really nice on this Missile Command. I used to play Missile Command on the Atari back in the day. Uh, you know, with our Atari 2600, was was probably my first console I ever owned, uh, which is really cool. So, let's take a tour of this. So, we got the artwork right here. Like I said, the artwork is really nice here on the side. I think it looks fantastic on both sides. Uh, really, really nice premium feel to it. It's not like it's just, you know cheap sticker or something like that it feels really nice and premium on there uh, obviously here on the front like we talked about we have the nice uh coin door obviously on this one like i said it doesn't do anything as far as opening um but it does you know have the real feel as if it was really a coin door in there um and then these buttons do do something and you guys will see that when you actually press them in the game um and then of course you have the trackball here you guys can see that trackball right there and then it has the buttons, of course, for the actual game. And Missile Command is pretty unique because it has those three buttons. The you know to actually play this correctly, it has the start button for player one, player two, the trackball, and then those three buttons aligned right there. And you can see how that looks like right there. I think it looks really nicely set up. And then on the back here, you have the charging port that I talked about. And then this is where the sound comes out of from the speaker. Uh, then you have the volume on the back and then the power on the back as well. You can see from the front here, you can see the nice marquee on this one. And it has the two speaker grills right there. And then, of course, it has the plastic, which we're going to rip off here for the very first time. And obviously, I'm not seeing this turned on yet. Uh, but as somebody looking at this, you know, from behind the scenes here, this looks really cool. They have the CRT effect that or this screen film that's on top of here that kind of makes it seem like you're looking at a crt instead of an lcd screen that's actually in here which uh we'll see how that looks like when i turn it on but i'm excited to take a look at that and see what that looks like on this machine but yeah so far and then the bottom here says missile command as you guys can see here but so far this is really really nice looking i mean like i said it's really impressive on how everything looks and uh this looks really really nice on here uh the whole entire thing and i love the size of it too like i said i've never seen one of these before so i love the size and how it actually looks and one thing that i didn't want to mention too before we get into that is the uh is the actual instruction book is actually pretty cool we don't want to gloss over that because they did a really good job of kind of showing that off because they they have like the missile command like the original artwork and stuff here obviously once you open the book it obviously has you know the instructions on how to use this and how to charge it and all that stuff based on this machine of course not on the original arcade but the actual pamphlets and the instruction manual that they use is representative of what it would look like if you got the operations manual with the original arcade. So, again, their attention to detail on this stuff is, is has always been crazy from what I heard. Uh, obviously, not a lot of experience for me, which because these being my first one. But I've always heard that. So, 
I'm not really surprised, but let's go ahead and plug this in now. All right, guys, so here we go. So I just plugged this in here, and as you can see, what's really cool right off the bat before I even turn it on is it's got the uh, power lights that's right here from the uh, actual coin slots. Like I said, their attention to detail is crazy. Do they have to go all out and light these up? No, but does it look a lot better and a lot cooler when this is lit up? Absolutely. So we're powering this on for the first time with the button on the back here. Because remember, you can use these off of battery as well. You don't have to, you can either plug it in or it actually holds a charge as well. Um, so you could do it both ways. And there it is lighting up for the first time. Look at how awesome that marquee just lit up right there for the very first time. And look at that screen. And from my angle right now, that effect definitely looks like it, it um, you know, adds like the, the CRT effect there. It's really cool. It really looks like you're looking at a CRT. I think the effect is pretty cool. So as you guys can see here, while I pull this closer here, this is the sound is coming. That's coming from it is really good. Um, obviously, it's going to like an attract mode while it's in here. So remember, the whole idea of this that I think is really cool is that these are charging, so you can plug them in uh, to charge them and then kind of not have anything plugged in at all. But right now, of course, I'm charging it since I just got it. But then it has the light up buttons here for player one and player two start as well. Uh, marquee lights up fantastic. This looks really, really clean and nice. And everything about it just looks really, really good as far as that goes. Now, can you actually play these? Of course you can play them. I mean, a lot of people do play these. And, you know, it, they are fun to play. But obviously, it's still more of an art piece when you're showing it off and stuff like that. This is not something you're going to be playing every day or anything. Uh, which, I would say the same thing. I'm not going to play these every day. But I do think that they're going to be played more often than you think. I think when people see these on my shelf and they're like, oh, I want to play Missile Command. Let me try that for a little bit. They'll all grab it from the shelf, put it on a table, and start playing it. Which I think is really cool. And it's the same thing, I think, as well. But, yes, they're 50% for play and 50% for decoration pieces to kind of have something like this in your collection. So, if you hit the last button here on the on the on the bottom here on the coin button there this is how you get into the settings on this one so on this machine here when you want to scroll through the menu you actually hit the left coin button here so you scroll down just like this and then you hit the fire button to actually change it so you can see here you have screen brightness and then you can hit the fire button here and you'll see it goes you know from less to more as you guys can see there so you can brighten that up if you want to so the screen definitely gets pretty bright. And then you could obviously turn the marquee light off and on, just like that. Trackball sensitivity, which is currently on medium. We'll leave that there. Trackball, uh, tank, tark ball XL, we have that on. Uh, then you have the replicated track mode audio. If you want the uh, track mode while you're not playing it to have audio, like you guys heard before. The number of cities you can change from six. Then you have bonus cities and how many points they're worth. And then you can reset the high scores anytime you want because these things do keep track of high scores, which is awesome. Uh, that they do keep track of high scores. So, then you just go ahead and just to exit, press that same button again. Now, I'm going to be playing this on an angle so I can show you guys how this actually works. And I'm going to hit player one start. And we're going to go ahead and see how we can do. So, here we go. Player one start. Let's see if we can actually play these things. The trackball is moving. I can fire right through here. Trackball does seem to, you know, operate pretty well for a trackball on something this size. And I'm obviously playing here uh, from behind the camera. So don't mind me if I end up doing pretty bad right now. Because it's hard to see the camera while also playing at the same time. But not bad. I got past the first level here. Player one. Next level. I'll definitely never forget playing this as a kid on my Atari and stuff like that. Definitely going to get hit by like a million different things here. Lost like half my cities. So that's not good. Trying to not get hit, and they just took them all out. And we just died. So obviously, not very good for me. But the trackball does seem really good. It, it does seem to be responsive. And then you get like the end screen here, which again, the screen looks really, really good. I'm going to give you guys a close up here in a second uh, so you guys can see. So then you get to the uh, to the high scores here. 
I didn't get any high score, so of course I can't put my name on there, but we'll, we'll try that you know, later on. The screen in here looks fantastic, and I really love the effect, like I said, uh, in my opinion. Uh, there's co opinions out there that some people love and some people don't with the CRT effect that they started adding to their newer machines, and I think it looks really, really cool um, on how good that this actually looks, and it does definitely give it like a CRT effect. When I'm looking through the wind like this glass right here, I feel like I'm looking at a pop-out like screen instead of a regular LCD screen, so the effect definitely works. The thing that people complain about the most is that it has a lot of glare, and you guys can sign and see me while I'm recording in here, so if you're playing with a lot of lights around you and stuff you are going to get glare off of this but their new machine that i told you i pre-ordered the ghouls and ghosts actually has this effect too but it's their new 2.0 version that they're calling it and apparently it reduces the reflections and stuff that people were complaining about on these original ones that first started with the crt effects this being one of them so we'll see how that improves on ghosts and goblins but for me yes it does have glare but i can obviously finagle it you know play it where it's not going to get glare and i think that the effect is really cool like when i'm playing it in front of here i don't have any glare on the screen um it looks really good um well i i have glare on the screen but it still looks really good and i can still play it and i can obviously you know make sure i'm not playing with a lot of light around me if i want to um but that is something to keep in mind with this with this effect that they're using but i don't mind it and i love the effect in my opinion so that's it guys uh that is my overview of the actual and review of this machine as somebody who just got this for the first time like i said the artwork on this thing is fantastic the light up on the front is awesome the control panel is really cool with the attention to detail with the instructions on everything on here uh the buttons that they have laid out on how it's supposed to be the mini trackball that they have on here the light up buttons over here the crt effect the light up marquee that looks fantastic everything about this machine just looks really really good and the fact that you can charge it and then use it without a cord and stuff like that all of it is just really really cool and they did a fantastic job with uh, this missile command run the sound is really good on it the screen and the quality of the screen is really sharp and vibrant uh it's really really good uh no issues with looking at it from the side or anything it still looks just as good uh from the side no matter which angle you look at it from it still looks fantastic and uh, i think they as a lot of people have said they definitely do a fantastic job with these and i'm excited to get more of them and give you guys impressions on each one as i continue to get these because now i'll be getting more of these than i ever had before so you'll definitely see a lot of reviews of them going forward can't wait for that coca-cola machine to come out uh the zotar one to come out uh, their accessory line like i can't wait for all of that stuff so guys uh thank you guys for watching this video if you guys have any questions about anything you guys have seen as always leave it down below if not thank you guys for watching Till next time